you know, one of the weirder, and I guess you can say quote unquote worst things about being a content creator is when you have to decide whether you want to, you know, spend your time on calls with friends or actually sit down and record your next LP. It's literally been me with this game for the past few days. I've chosen friends over Mario and Luigi. Anyway, hey what's up my dokus, Jason and we'll get back to more Mario and Luigi Dream Team. <clears throat> Excuse me. Last time, we started exploring Mushrise Park, where we met up with Boss Brickle, who seemed to have L Dream's pillow. However, he decided that, oh, because we want it so much, he's going to take it for himself, and he ran off. And through, as you know, some shenanigans of finding pieces of a fountain to fix it, as well as obtaining ourselves some hammers, we managed to make our way over the, here, down this path, which I believe is like kind of the outskirts of Mushrise Park, and we met up with a toad where he gave us an attack piece, which is a, you know, item that is in a set of 10, and once we obtain all of them, we get a new attack. And this time, well, we're going to be exploring this outskirts here of Mushrise Park, as well as collecting all the attack pieces that we can see on our, um, on our map screen down there. So let's get started. First off, you know, there was this one that was shown in the cutscene for, you know, when that toad was talking about them, right up here. Deck piece number two. We have eight left. Here we got another boulder. Some boulders we can't get, or can't, you know, get past to get that attack piece. However, we come up here, hammer this down, and we can make our way in here to get this attack piece. Now, I will say, for the future, attack pieces will not be this joint, this joint together. They will be scattered throughout an entire area, but, but because this is our first introduction of attack pieces, this is why there's so many within a specific area. Also, we can now get a kind of not tutorial introduction to these new enemies. Which are known as... Thwarps. Now, we've seen already from the tutorial battle the other, or the second um, attack that they do, so there isn't really anything new about them. It's mostly just, they mostly just, you know, you can counterattack with your hammer, or they'll come at you like they did, and you'll have to jump. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Alrighty, so went ahead and just basically took care of the rest of the enemies in this area, as, you know, usual when I go over all of an enemy's attacks and, you know, introduction, there's basically not really a reason to need to continue showing the fights. But, let's continue grabbing some more attack pieces as we have the fourth and final one that we can get in this area because we cannot break those boulders that are over here as, you know, if we come up and actually hit it with our hammer, it does nothing. Apparently the game also thinks that it's, you know, so immortal that it needs to graze right through it. So, let's go ahead and head down this direction. And here we will find, ooh, yet another new enemy. If we can start a battle with it, that would be great. Here we have, well, we're getting to see its uh, main method of attacking. Which is, you know, it'll run at us, but we have a Capnap. Basically, Capnaps is, uh, one of their things is they will... They will fall asleep and it will delay their attacks. But, for the most part, they're pretty easy to dodge and... It, it really just delays their attack to where, like, they may not go as fast as they usually would. So... Keeping going with our exploration. Come up here. Excuse me. There we go. Get ourselves yet another attack piece. And that's not all we can do. We can 
come over this way and we'll find some uh, item or an item block and some boulders. Nothing else really over here. We can go this way if we wanted to, but as we can see, there are other attack pieces that we need to obtain. And if we can find some more of those cap naps, you might be able to see some of their other attacks. I think they only have one other one. And I don't know if it's going to show it off or not. Yes, it is. Okay, so basically this one is, it will attack both the bros in a sort of 3D, um, 3D based uh, attack. Basically, you know, it's kind of like go it goes into a 3D uh, based or kind of 3D position where it goes like up where it did and then comes at us from the top of the screen. That's basically what I mean by that. But that's basically every attack for, you know, those enemies. I think most enemies, unless we get further in the game, usually will have only like two attacks max unless they're like grouped up with certain enemies then, you know, they'll have a unique attack. But other than that, you know, pre pretty simple to defeat. Also, yet another attack, attack piece. Here is where things get interesting because uh, what we want to do is come up here. Then we just want to hit this twice. And that will get us inside here to grab this attack piece. Go ahead and break this, and then with these, we're going to have a bit of a puzzle of trying to balance these out to where we can get up on this ledge, which, you know, just involves this. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Then we come up here, get ourselves yet another attack piece, and then we can come over here and hit this coin block. Alrighty, that's everything up there. Come down here for some more coins. We are just swimming in some cash right now. And then, to get that attack piece that we saw in the previous area, we get to do something cool. One, we have to hit this all the way down. This will bring us over to this, and if we just smack this down, we get launched. All the way over to destroy that. Which we can now get some more coins. And of course, get our final attack piece of these two areas. Looks like you got all the attack pieces in this area. Maybe the last one's a little farther ahead. Maybe it is indeed. So, let's go ahead and use this magical launcher. And let's make our way into the new area. As we have explored this area to the to the fullest of its uh, contents, I guess. So, let's go. Whoa there. This looks dicey. Oh, visitors. Can I help you? You're looking for Boss Brickle. He came by here a little while ago. Unfortunately, there are monsters up ahead. It would be a, a liability to let you through. Huh, these two eat monsters for breakfast. Well, not literally. Wait, do you? Great jump. You know your way around a hammer. Uh, yeah, no way. I can't let you through. Mario, Luigi! Thanks for helping me out of that jam earlier. I guess this is where the party's at. Oh, I get it. In that case, 
You should get some more of those attack pieces. How about searching for them? Sound like a plan? I actually found another one myself. I always knew I was talented. I'm not your average toad. Now hold on. I remember my tour guide saying something else. There are ten to attack pieces in every set. Find them all to learn a powerful new move. He called that move a bros attack. I mean, if you guys have some power moves, this guy ought to be bend a bit. Whoa, yeah, that change everything. A bros attack. I'd definitely let you through if you could pull that off. We already have nine attack pieces. We already, you already have not nine of them. Sweet. Here's the one I was holding on to. All right, we have number ten. That means we unlock a brand new bros attack. Woohoo! Now you can use the bros attack. I like to see that attack in action. Yeah, let's give it a try. Open the menu screen. This is one of the little problems I have at this point in Dream Team is that you literally op like had the open or the menu open for the bros attack to get spawn, like to you know finish, and then you have to open it again. Let me explain how to view the bros attack you just learned. You can check attacks basically like you did attack pieces. First, go ahead and select guide. Okay, now select attacks. There is the bros attack you just completed. Select a bros attack here and then press the Y button to see a demonstration of the attack. When you're viewing a demo, you can press start to jump in and do a practice, practice trial. I highly recommend practicing before you try to use a bros attack in battle. When you've seen the demo and you've had your fill of practice, go on and close the menu. Well, I actually am better at explaining how to use the bros attack in battle rather than using a tutorial. No thanks. I'll pass. With this new bros attack, nothing can stop us. If you see any more attack pieces around, pick them up. Yark! Great timing. This is your chance to use a bros attack. Let's try the bros attack you learned just now. Want to hear hear about how to do the bros attack okay gotcha ah that's right without enough BP you can't use bros attacks you can use syrup jars to restore your, restore your BP if you need to you can go you can go to the attack guide in the menu it's pretty handy you know you can practice bros attacks use it anytime you practice yeah this is one tutorial I will skip out on because I can tell you guys how to use bros attacks so, first things first, this is actually one of the new things with Dream Team, we're actually going to get to see it here in a bit, is um, going to be rearing its head, I guess. I I'm going to explain it in a bit. Hold on. So first, we have 3D Red Shell. Basically, this if you've played a previous Mario & Luigi game, sp specifically Partners in Time and Bowser's Inside Story, there were shell attacks in that those games. But this one is interesting. The reason it's called 3D is because you use it like this. You, you basically do a th kind of 3D version of that same attack. It's very, it's actually really unique and I really like it. Oh, are we gonna beat all the enemies before I actually get to show the thing that rears its head? No. Okay, but Okay, as we can see, 
Luigi is not allowed to use Bros attacks right now. That is because unlike previous Mario and Luigi games, Mario and Luigi have unique Bros attacks to each other. Basically this means throughout the game we are going to be collecting attacks for each of them individually instead of just one Bros attack for both of them. This is actually a change I like because it adds a bit more uniqueness in how you can deal with with battles because each character will have your, their own unique set of bros attacks and you know some may be helpful in certain situations while others may be beneficial in others. It's very unique and I really like it. It's just one of those twists that I like about Dream Team. You know like many other video games that change things like that. Let's roll out. We've got to get Eldream's pillow from that park guy. Alright. And we can, you know, we can just, like, skip over these guys, but you know me. I am someone who likes to fight every enemy I come across. And so I'm going to fight all of these guys, as there really isn't that many of them, and plus, experience is beneficial to us. Also, actually, I guess I've missed out on that attack. There's a time... There's an attack right there, as we just saw, from the naps, or the cap naps, where they fall asleep and you have to use your hammer. You can either wake them up, or you can wait until they get near you and hammer them for damage. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty unique attack. Of course, it does, you know, go with the whole dream aspect, because he falls asleep. As I like when, uh, games, like, add that to att enemy attacks to, like, just make it unique to the, like, following kind of the name of the game and everything. But anyway, seems Mario has gotten another level up. We're at level 7. Let's see here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Just, you know, double checking what my, uh, what I need to level up here. And it's actually a good thing that level 7 is BP because we got a bros attack, and so... Having BP will actually be, you know, or leveling up our BP is actually has a use now. But, you know, now that we've, you know, seen all of these enemies and their their attacks, now I'm going to go ahead and defeat them, and I will meet you guys afterwards. Okay, so, now that we've, you know, fought a few enemies, Luigi has now also gotten a level up. Looks like the pros are actually sitting around the same BP, too. Alrighty, so I think that takes care of every single enemy. I don't think there's any more here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, so now we can go ahead and move on. But first, we have some uh, remaining item blocks here. This one contains a syrup jar, which is good for us, even though... Technically, at this point, we don't need it. Alright, we've found ourselves to a different section of Mushrise Park. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Sorry folks, this gate is out of service. There are too many monsters on the loose. Boss Brickle gave me strict lockdown orders. Please exit via the Pillow Castle gate. Boy, I wish I could tell him. Wish I could tell him that, uh, you know... Uh, that the bridge over in Pillow to Pillow Castle is broken. Anyway, we got some more item blocks here, and let's head up this way. <laughs> Actually made it. Wow, go figure. You guys must really want this pillow, huh? Bah! Bah! Unless you knuckleheads catch me, you ain't getting it, squat. Bah! Eight. Playtime's done. I really gotta get back to work. I'll just, uh. Whoa! Is up, wiggle it. Uh, uh. Seriously, if you would have just given us the pillow, if I can just 
Yeah. Well, no use crying over spilled stardust. Mario, Luigi, let's find a... Let's see if we can help him. If we don't, we'll never get El Dream's pillow. Can we get on top of the... Or can you get on top of the fountain? My back. Let's walk around and try to find a way to help him. Indeed, let's, you know, do that. So we're just gonna need to explore around and find a way to um, help him out. First things first, I actually want to come up here. Because, if you remember, we came across this gate. And if we his hit this switch, well, we can open this gate, giving us access to the previous area. However, we also seem to have some new enemies. Enemies who are faster than us, and we're getting to see one of their attacks. They'll try to, you know, come at you with their, uh, try to come out with you with their pointy heads, which, you know, obviously means we have to use the hammer. Um, and you're going to just want to time your hammer to where they're close to you so you can get that off. These enemies are also called Flibbies. It's mostly because I think the kind of play on words there is that they're, uh, is that they, um, what's the word I'm trying to, like, they basically flip from, you know, being on the ground and, you know, a, a spiked enemy to being in the air like they are now and, uh, being able to be jumped on. Also, we're getting to see one of their attacks. They basically will fly at you as they're in the air, but, you know, their eyes will circle around and that tells you how many times they'll loop before they actually come at you. Very nice, very nice. And also, once you jump on them, if you do not kill them, they will then become a spiked enemy once again. Alrighty. Now let's go ahead and grab this item box, and we're going to head up this way for a sec. As there's, you know, some exploration here. And I want to be able to show off all the areas that we can possibly go to at this very moment. So, coming through here, we'll be able to find some block, some more uh, coin blocks, as well as, you know, hopefully some item blocks as well. See how long this lasts. There we go. Um, doesn't appear to be anything else over this way. Um, okay, so we're gonna probably need to make this kind of like a staircase. And then just running through here, we'll find an item box with a super candy, and we'll be able to make our way, you know, back into that area from over here, if we so wish. Of course, we also have a flip bee right here, which I'm going to defeat. And this is all we can do in this area, as, you know, we can't break this, and we don't have the ability to jump up to here and talk to this guy. So, we're just gonna, you know, have to wait until later. But with that, we've finally found Brickle, and we know that we need to find a way to get him out of that fountain so we can obtain Eldream's pillow. So I think we're gonna aim for that next time. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, sure you upset a ton. Make sure to subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.